What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 50 minute upper body circuit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. that you're here today for this upper body workout. We have a circuit style workout today and I want you to think of this as four kind of little mini workouts in one. We've got a lighter circuit, a medium weight circuit, and then more of your heavy circuit followed up at the end by a little burnout circuit. So you can kind of focus in on each circuit one at a time knowing you're working hard and then we can move on to the next one, okay? As always, your mission today is work hard for strength, okay? For my dumbbells, I've got 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 pound dumbbells. So anywhere in your medium, light medium to heavy exercises, the lightest exercise that we'll do is probably your tricep kickback or a lateral raise. Heaviest will be either chest press on the bench, which if you have a bench, you can pull that out, or bent rows. That'll be your heavier moves, okay? So bench if you have it, water and a sweat towel as always, and let's jump into this workout, guys. Don't forget before you head out to make sure you've subscribed and let's start with arm swings. Big open, big cross. Two, one, let's go. Good, start your breathing right here. So within each circuit, we have four exercises. We'll do three rounds of a circuit and then we'll move on. Okay, and I'll keep you moving. So you won't have any straight sets today. It'll all be circuit style. So one through four and then back to the top. Okay, circles backwards. Here we go. We're gonna be targeting all the upper body muscles. So we've got chest, back, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. And switch directions. Here we go. No jump rope today. <laughs> I know I'm gonna miss it. I know you're thinking the same thing, right? <laughs> no jump rope, just some dumbbells, just a solid strength day. Okay, take your left hand, point your fingers to the ground. Pull your fingers back under your elbows. Your mission, of course, as well as just focusing on strength is progressive overload. So within each of your three rounds, I want you to try to increase your weight or your intensity or the reps that you get in in that certain period of time within the three rounds at least once. Okay, flip your hand over, let's pull back. I'm just opening up your forearms here since we'll be holding dumbbells. Good, let's flip it over. Other hand, pull back. Good. Always feels great. Go ahead and flip your hand over. Pull your fingers back. There you go. All right, nice wide stance. Arms out to the side. I want you to hinge and then touch down right in the middle with one hand. Switch, switch. Good. Big twist, big reach up. Open your torso. Four, three, Two, and one, good. Now put your hands down onto the mat. We're gonna go into a down dog position. Okay, so come on down. Okay, push your head right behind your biceps and then push it right over the front. You don't have to go into a plank, but I just want a little shoulder rotation here. Okay, head goes in front of and behind your arms. Good, give me three, two, and one, good, last one. Drop down to your knees, reach your fingers out straight. Big push down with your chest. <sighs> All right, come on up, let's get started. We'll go together in 25 seconds. Your first move is a chest fly, okay? You can choose to lay on your bench or on the mat. All right, I'm gonna go on my bench here. Okay, so I'm using my 10 pound dumbbells, just opening it up wide for a chest fly. 40 seconds, okay? So grab your dumbbells and we'll go in two, one, let's go. Big open and close. Okay, so we're starting off with your lighter weight set and my attempt here is throughout the workout to progressively overload you, but also to make sure that within this first circuit, you get everything nice and warm. You're not immediately pushing your max weights, but you're waking up those muscles. Great job, guys. 15 more seconds, and then we'll move to your second exercise of the circuit. Good, one at a time. Open, squeeze in. You've got three, two, one. Beautiful. 
likely gonna be around the same weight for dumbbells. I'm gonna use my same weight. Back flies is your next move. So you're hinging, pulling back. Now make sure there's no shrug involved, okay? Keep it down. You drive your wrists and your elbows back towards your tailbone. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Fly back. And if you need to modify this, maybe you just go one arm at a time, taking it backwards and release. Okay? There you go. Yeah, no modifications today. Everything is low impact. The only modification you'll need is just if you need to drop down in weights. Okay? Good. Shoulder blades are squeezing together towards the middle of your back. Okay, so make sure they don't come up first. They, go, they stay down and they go back. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, all right. Same weight, we're gonna go lateral raises. Okay, elbows are slightly bent. Lift, come back down. My hands are nice and flat, so palms face the floor and then back down. Okay, ready? Let's go in four, three, two, one. Lift, lower. Same thing, just slow it down. Give me one arm at a time. Elbows are just slightly bent. And I'm thinking about getting my pinkies up nice and high. Good. Focus on power up, control down. That's it. 14, 13, and then I'll show you your last exercise of circuit one. Lift it out, come on. Three, two, one. All right, last move, also a little bit of shoulder. We've got front raise, flip to lower, okay? So we start in a pronated position. You come up, flip, come down supinated, okay? So palms face your legs, lift, rotate, lower. Ready? Let's go, two, one, come on. We lift up, flip at the chest, lower. Good. So you've got some bicep involvement on the lowering, right? Good, really makes you control the weight, right? Beautiful job. You've got 12. How are you feeling? Okay? Good. Don't bob your hips. Leave them back. I know someone was just like, dang it, she caught me. <laughs> okay? Two, one, rest. So what I'm saying is make sure you're not doing this. Okay? We're back to chest fly, but I just want to show you what I was talking about. Okay? So here we go. Round two. Chest fly. It's up to you if you want to go up in weight. Intensity at least. Okay? Let's go. Three, two, one, dumbbells over your chest, and we open the elbows away from the rib cage. And then meet them back together right over your sternum. Exhale, pull. Good. Likely you're feeling a little bit more range of motion this round, right? Arms are warming up. That's good, use that. Moving into round three, if you wanna go up in weights, Know that you're getting warm, your muscles are firing, they're working for you, we're getting stronger. Seven, six, two, one, all right, come on up. Back flies, move this out of the way for a second. Okay, back flies, keep the hinge, make sure you're not going here, you're going backwards, okay? Five seconds, three, two, one, bend the knees, hinge over, drive back. Good. You feel your shoulders easing up, drop them back down. Think of your wrists reaching back for your tailbone, reaching back for each other. Good. It's okay for your chest to open up a little bit here. As your back muscles squeeze, just make sure you're not bobbing. Great job, guys. You're doing great. Seven. Three, two, and rest. Amazing. 
Lateral raises, we're back. Okay, out to the side to slow it down, one at a time. Okay, and then we've got the last round of the circuit, so let's keep rocking. Five, here we go. Four, three, two, one, come on. Lift, lower. Remember, power on the lift, control on the lower. Good. There you go, lead up with the wrist. Keep your pinkies high. There we go, come on. There we go. You've accomplished something already today, showing up for this workout, okay? Stay with me here. It's one of those workouts you have to just dig deep, grind it out, strength workouts, really push us, rest, good job. They really push us to mentally dig deep, stay focused, stay pushing ourselves, okay? Front raise and flip, okay? No, that's our, our motive today, is dig deep, push ourselves. I'm here with you, okay? I'm not gonna quit on you. Two, one, let's go. I'm not gonna start to take it easy. <laughs> know that if you need to look up at any time, you've got a coach right here beside you, pushing herself, pushing you to do the same, because we're worth it, our time is worth it. Okay, here we go. So let's finish off here. Be thinking in this round, can you go heavier on that last round in any of the moves? Okay, if you're not ready to go heavier, can you give me a little bit more explosive energy? Can you give me a couple more reps in our 40 second work period? All of these are progressive overload. Three, two, one. All right, let's go, let's think about it. Can we go up? Chest fly, last round. Almost done with circuit one. Show yourself, what can I do here for me? All right, here we go, four. Dumbbells up, three, two, one, come on. Good, strong wrist, make sure you're not bending your elbows at the side like a wide chest press. Okay, keep them open and long. Good, shoulders, biceps, chest, pull, come on. Good job, give me a couple more reps. Come on, six, five, go, 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 pull, four, one more, three, two, one, yes, there we go. Chest fly complete. Done with that one, now we go back fly, okay? If you wanna go heavier and go one arm at a time, you can do that, okay? You wanna stay with the same weight, give me more power on the way up, do that. Ready, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna go one arm a little heavier. Be thinking, hook your elbow towards your spine. And you notice I'm stopping here, okay? A couple reasons, to make sure my chest isn't bobbing, okay? And also to make sure my back doesn't round out. Okay, so I stay flat. Good job, 10, nine, Come on, finish, two, one. Yes, good job. Lateral raises. I'm gonna use my 10 pounds again. So same weight I've been using the whole workout, but I'm gonna work on how I perform the reps. Pushing harder, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Lift up, slow on the way down. That's it. Okay, increasing the intensity. It's also progressive overload. You don't have to just go up in dumbbell weights. And that's great for a lot of us that don't have a big dumbbell selection right now. You just gotta work those dumbbells differently, okay? Good, 13. Eight, seven. Three, two, one, rest. Good. 
Okay, last one. Front raise, rotate to supinated and lower. Okay, and then we'll take a breather and move up to our medium weight set. Okay, medium weight circuit. All right, five seconds. Let's finish this one off strong. Two, one, come on. We lift, pause, turn, lower. Good, exhale, lift. Keep your hips right there. Don't move them. No Shakira, come on. The hips stay right where they are right now. Good. Come on. Good job, 12. Push, 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 seven. One more, three, two, rest. Oh, okay, amazing job, guys. Grab some water, you've got a minute rest here. I need your arms to recover a little bit, so a minute rest, grab water. If you wanna jog in place or stay moving to keep your heart rate up, that's fine. I just want your arms to recover a little bit. Mm. All right, so while you rest, your next four exercises I want to show you. Okay, so then when we rock into it, you can be thinking about it. Bicep curls is number one, okay? Right here, right in front, okay? Then we go up to tricep, overhead extension. We're here, okay? You can also do this on the floor if you would like, okay? Laying flat, all right? After that, we've got a hammer curl, okay? And then dips on the bench or on the floor. All right, so let's start with our bicep curls. I'm gonna start with my 15 pound dumbbells. Okay, start with something that's medium for you. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds again. Good, right up to your chest. Beautiful. Good, now each of our three rounds on this circuit, I'm gonna add a little bit of spice, okay? So if you wanna stay the same weight the whole time, I'm gonna intensify it for you, <laughs> okay? Nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Yes, there we go, all right. Overhead extensions. Grab one dumbbell or two, click together, all right? You wanna hold it this way, you can do this. Some people prefer this, okay? Just keep your elbows in line. All right, let's go. Four, three, two, here we go. Bend and push. Good job. You might have to kinda of lean your head forward just a little bit, that's okay. Just keep your elbows right where they are. Feel the stretch in the back of your arm. Push your hands back up to the ceiling. Beautiful, 15. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. Good. All right, next exercise. We've got a hammer curl. Okay, so we're taking our dumbbells right by our side, alternating on this one. Okay, you curl here, relax. Curl, relax. All right, palms face my leg. I'm using my 15 pound dumbbells. Three, two, one, let's get it. And I like to make sure I'm not swinging, so if you feel yourself coming down and going like this, okay, you're adding momentum instead of making your muscle move that dumbbell. Okay, your muscle pulls on your bones. That's how we get this lever action. Okay, feel free to look over at your arms. Make sure your technique is great. Good. I like to just look over, make sure I'm not accidentally scooping my elbows out. We're not letting them come here and then curling. Okay, adding a little scoop. Three, two, one. All right, good. Now we have dips. If you don't have a bench, I want you to take it right here, okay? Bend, straighten, okay? If you have a bench, 
pull that guy in, or your couch, or a chair, or a table, and sit on top, and we'll do the same thing. Bend, straighten. Ready? Let's go. Good, so the further away your feet are from your hips, meaning the more weight that your arms have, the tougher this is. So start here if you need to. Bend, push. Slowly inch your feet away, okay? The modification is just pulling your feet a little bit more under you and using your arms as much as you can, but having your feet here to help you. 15. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Back to your bicep curls. I told you I was gonna make it a little bit spicy, right? So bicep curls, okay, we're here. Flipping it over to hammer and then lowering, okay? So curl, neutral, lower, all right? Let's go together, two, one, here we go. Curl, neutral, lower. Now, bonus points, if you can take your neutral hammer and before you relax, open it back up. Then start your curl again, okay? Instead of going down and then bringing it back here, okay? Just an option to add a little bit more spice. <laughs> Seven. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Now, overhead tricep extension. You're gonna add a little pause halfway up, okay? So you're gonna go down, pause, and extend. Down, pause, extend, okay? So pause in the middle of that rep. Three, two, one. You bend all the way, halfway hold, straighten. Good, two seconds. Hold one, two, then go. Good. Nice work. Whew, nine, eight, seven. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh gosh, <laughs> that was hard. Okay, hammer curl to reverse curl. So we're adding a little twist to this curl as well. Okay, we pull up hammer. Then I want you to turn your thumbs in towards each other, so palms are open. Lower this way, okay? So we go neutral, reverse. All right, let's go. Two, one, pull up. Lower this way. If this doesn't feel good for you, just keep rocking that hammer curl. Okay? Hammer and reverse. Good. This will be tougher on your forearms. Okay? So like I said, it doesn't work. Just keep it right here. But if you can, try it. The key here is to not let your wrist roll forward, okay? When you curl, keep that wrist strong, and rest, good job. So, just a little variation. Like I said, if it's uncomfortable for you, for your elbows or your wrists, don't worry about it, okay? The whole objective is targeting the biceps. We're back to the dips now. Let's finish out round two right here. Ready, two, one, let's go. Good, and an option for this one, if your wrists start hurting, you can always grab dumbbells and just do tricep kickbacks. Same kind of thing, we're just targeting the triceps. So if the wrist pressure is too much, grab those light dumbbells, tricep kickbacks. Good job, 15. Good, six, five, Three, two, one, and rest. <laughs> All right, bicep curl. We're gonna pause halfway down on the way out of this curl, okay? So you're curling up, 
Come here, pause, one, two, and lower. Okay, so you can use the same weight as you've used all three rounds, I'm intensifying it for you. Ready, two, one, let's go. Curl, hold one, two, down, curl. That's it, good. Come on, visible pause, right? Don't just say, yeah, I'm kind of stopping here. Hold one, two, lower. 15, something I just caught myself doing. Don't do this, okay? I just did it myself. So I know you might have the chance of running that same mistake. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, beautiful job. All right, tricep overhead extension. I wanna challenge you to do this two-handed wide stance, okay? If it feels good for you, you can also go a little bit heavier if you would like. Round number three, two, one, come on, let's go. And be mindful of your elbows. Do not let them come here. Okay, keep them right where they are, right above your shoulders. Good. Different stabilization challenge, right? Find what feels good for you. Everyone's angles will be different. We're all different in terms of mobility, body alignment. Good job, four, three, and rest. Okay, hammer curl. We're gonna do the same thing that you did in your bicep curl up first. Curl up, pause, one, two, down. Okay. Whew. Here we go, let's intensify together. Four, three, two, one, come on. Curl, pause, one, two, down. There you go. Think about giving me a thumbs up halfway down. There we go. <laughs> One, two, release, don't swing. Don't take your dumbbells past your legs. 15 seconds. Ten, nine. One more, four, three, two, one, and rest. And one last round of dips. And we'll take another breather. Come on, you're doing great. Have a seat on whatever you're dipping on. Finish this one out, and then we breathe, and we move up to our heaviest set, okay? Four, three, two, one, let's go. Like I said, wrists are hurting. Tricep kickbacks for you. Good. Push through the burn that you may or may not be feeling as well. <laughs> Good job, 12. Five, four, come on, couple more. Three, two, one, and rest. <laughs> All right, grab some water. You've got a minute rest and we're rocking into our heavier circuit, okay? Shoulder press, chest press, bent row, and then we've got a Superman to kind of even that out. So if you have your bench, you can pull it out. If you don't, no worries. Okay, shoulder press. Standing, or if you're working on a little bit of Controlling your core, you can also sit down. This feels better to you, okay? Shoulder press angles do not have to be out here. You can also pull it in a little bit more, 45 degrees, to feel a little bit better for your shoulder, okay? So, shoulder press is here. Chest press on the floor or on the bench. You're coming right outside your ribs, not up by your head, down here around your ribs, okay? And then, bent rows, you can come up here, pull here or alternating pull, okay? You can also stabilize here, okay? 
You can do one arm, then the other arm for round two, and then we'll split round three in half. All right, I just like to give you options. Everyone's at a different place. Everyone feels different with different moves. So let's start together with your shoulder press overhead, okay? Six seconds, I'm gonna use my 25 pound dumbbells. Okay, let's go in two, one, here we go. Like I said, you can sit down. You can even do a little split stance here. Good. Twelve, eleven. Five, four. Two, one, and rest. Chest press is next. So lay it down on the floor or on the bench. Okay, round number one. I tried to give you kind of similar weights as far as exercises. Okay, seven seconds. Demo, we're gonna go around the chest. Press up, turn the pinkies into neutral. Are you ready? Let's go. Don't worry about your lower back. If it's not touching the floor, that's okay. <sighs> breathe, I need to breathe as well. Breathe with me. Breathe in, lower, exhale, push. <sighs> 10. Two, one, good. Come on up, bent rows. Like I said, you can do here, you can alternate here, or you can take it one arm at a time, going right here, okay? So let's go together. I'm gonna go with my 30 pound dumbbell. In three, two, one, come on, let's go. Drive that elbow back up towards your back, not up towards your armpit. So you don't want to go here, okay? Shoulder doesn't need to go here, and your wrist doesn't need to go here. It needs to go back and back. Good job, seven. Three, two, one, rest. And now we go Superman on the floor. Okay, so you can move your bench out of the way or just step to the side of it. Okay, on your stomach, we're laying down. We're gonna lift and we're gonna hold. Okay, right here, two, one, let's go. Lift up, hold here. I want you to notice, are your glutes squeezed together? Yes, they are, right? Legs are nice and straight. Lower back is lifting your chest up. Now, if you need to kind of digress a little bit, pull your hands in here a little closer to your body, okay? Just keep that chest up. Keep pushing your hips into the floor. All right, arms out straight if you can. Let's pulse, let's go 12, 11, 10, nine, backwards, eight, seven, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. And we're back to shoulder press. Whew. Here we go. You can sit it down if you would like. I was just kind of showing you the seated position so you can kind of see my hands. All right, shoulder press. Round two. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. Beautiful. Keep your arms, your forearms stacked right over your elbow. So don't let your elbow shoot forward. Great job. Stabilize at the bottom too. So make sure you don't Two, 
one rest chest press great job lay it down what I was saying in the shoulder press and in the chest press when you lower those dumbbells make sure you're not doing any kind of scooping or wiggling you lower transition right back up chest press let's go in four three two come on let's go Keep pushing, good job. Last half. Good, I know your arms are tired because you're working hard. I'm feeling it too, these feel so heavy. Eight, seven, come on, don't give up. Let's go one more together. Two, one, great job, rest. All right, single arm row or double arm row, whatever you're choosing. All right, here we go. Come on, strong back muscles. Let's go, two, one. Good, elbow goes back to the tailbone. Do not pull it up to your armpit. Don't pull your shoulder up to your ear. Just think about grabbing something and you wanna pull it right to your ribs, hip bone area, okay? Core is also working hard, right? I know, I feel it. Great job, come on, eight, seven. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Superman, lay it down on your tummy. Okay, squeezing the glutes, squeezing your low back muscles. Come on, three, two, drop those hips to the floor, up. Yes, there we go. Let's go arms straight, bent, forward, bent. Out, bend, reach, bend, let's go. Good, straight, bend, reach, bend. Keep my pace, bend, reach, bend, good, good. Now straight back, let's go. Reach, back, reach, back. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three. Come on, two, one, rest. Okay, last round, let's go. We turn it up, this is our last heavy circuit. We're dialing the weight down a little bit in the next circuit, so I need you to give me your all. I need you to give you your all, most importantly. It's not about me, it's about you. What are you getting out of this? Let's go. In two, one, here we go. Now if you're going heavier, know that your speed does not have to match when you were going lighter. Good job. Fifteen. Trust yourself, push yourself. Five, four, two, rest. Hello. Okay, chest press, how are you feeling? Can you go heavier? Can you give me a more intense press? Step it up however you can. Six. Five. Two, one. <sighs> Come on. I don't know if anyone just noticed, but almost flipped off the bench. No worries, we're still here. <laughs> just kind of woke me up a little bit. <laughs> Keep pushing. <sighs> That's it, strong together. You got 15 seconds. If you ever wonder if I'm getting tired on upper body days, you can look at my toes. They're tapping and they're doing some little dance. I'm really tired, I'm really pushing. Three, one more together, two, 
rest. Whew. All right, so I mentioned if you did single arm rows, round one you did left, round two you did right, we're gonna split this one, okay? So let's start off with the arm you started with first for 20 seconds, okay? If you're doing double arm, let's go, round three. Two, one, let's go. 20 seconds on the left and 20 on the right if you're splitting it. If you're not, last 40 of your rows. If you're splitting this, we switch in two and let's go. Good job, 10, nine. Two, one, and rest. Okay, Superman, let's go. Move the bench out of the way if you're using it or just scoot it to the side. Here we go. Superman in eight, seven, four. Hands beside your ears, squeeze the glutes, and let's lift. Here we go. Straighten and bend, out, in, out, in. Good, stay right here. Now take your feet, out, 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 out. Good job. Good, relax your feet, bring them back into neutral, arms go forward. Let's go. Forward, pull, forward, pull. Good, 10, nine, lift it up as high as you can. Go, 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 reach, 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 reach. We're up, we're higher. Two, one, and rest. <laughs> okay, grab some water. Amazing job, three circuits down and we have one to go. <sighs> Beautiful work. <sighs> grab water. <sighs> okay. We're moving into, I'm probably just gonna use my 10 pound dumbbells for the rest of the workout, okay? We're gonna do a little builder, okay? We've got four rounds of this. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks, okay? So right here, tricep kickbacks. Second exercise, bicep curl pulses. One, two, third exercise, lateral raises. One, two, Fourth exercise, front raises, okay? You can go here if you'd like. One, two. Okay, so four minutes, four rounds of 45 seconds. What we're gonna do is a little builder, okay? In your 45 seconds, you've got two kickbacks, two curls, two raises, two raises. Then you go to three, three kickbacks, three curls, three raises, three raises, okay? Four rounds of 45 seconds, that's it, okay? We're gonna start in about 15 seconds. So, just make sure you know you're counting two of everything, three of everything, four of everything, as high as you can get in 45 seconds, then you rest, okay? Then we do it all over again, four rounds, that's it. Are you ready? Start off with two kickbacks in two, one, let's go. We've got one, You've got two, two bicep curls. One, two, two lateral raises. Two front raises. Go back to tricep kickbacks, you've got three. Three curl pulses. Three laterals, there you go. You just keep climbing. Three front raises, good job. We're up to four. Keep going, I'll tell you when to stop. Three, two, one, now you stop. You rest for 15 seconds. You're gonna resume right where you started. So if you're on your four round, in eight seconds, you start right back there and you keep going. Keep counting higher. Ready, three, two, one. So I'm gonna resume at my four curls. Keep climbing.
45 seconds at a time. When you get done with your fours, you go to your fives. Get done with your threes, you go to your fours, wherever you are. Five seconds and you're gonna pause. Three, two, one, pause. Right here, where are you? Just breathe. In about 10 seconds, you just keep climbing. We're going on to round three, okay? Resume in five, four, three, come on. Two, one, start right where you were, let's go. Beautiful, come on. Keep climbing, keep pushing higher, higher. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds to rest. You resume one last time, one last time. You keep counting right where you are in five, four, come on, three, how high can you get? Two, one, let's go. Don't stop on this one, just keep those dumbbells moving at all times. Good job, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 15, good job. We've got one minute of work left. Each of the exercises that you just did, you're gonna give me a 15 second hold in your flexed position, okay? So what does that look like? 15 seconds, meaning one minute total of work. First 15 seconds, you're holding here. 15, 14, etc. Second 15, you come right here. Hold your bicep curl. Okay, third 15, you come here. Hold your lateral raise. Last 15, we're right here, holding here, okay? That is it, so 10 seconds, shake it out. We're starting with the kickback hold. If you have to drop, drop, shake it, go back to the hold. Come on, we can do this. Three, two, one, flex, let's hold. Hold, hold, hold. Tap your toes if you need to. That's it. Hold here for six, five. Get ready to bend your elbows in four, three, two. Pull it in, hold here. 14, good. This will probably be your rest one. This will be the one you feel good about. Okay, breathe. Seven, six, excuse me, five, four, three. Out to the side, two, one. Big deep breath, let's go. Good, if you need to pull it in to modify, pull it right here. Stay up, stay up. You got five, four, come on, this is your last minute of work. Two, one, hold front, right here. If you wanna go down, you go right here. Let's go 15, 14, 13. Good job, hold, four, three, two, one and drop <sighs> no jokes i was going to say one more minute of push-ups that's just rude you've made it to your cool down amazing job first of all just give me a big shake out i'm so proud of you <sighs> i don't know about you guys but i feel like that workout i was so focused that i feel like i just started i just kept pushing i hope you feel like that anytime you come work out with me I hope you have fun doing it it may be tough to get here i give that to you it's tough for me to get here some days, but once we get started, we're good. We're off to the races, we're pushing each other. Okay, point your fingertips down on your left hand, pull them back. Okay, make sure you give me just a minute more. 
to stretch your arms out. Make sure you also keep stretching. Okay, switch hands. Great job. And I hope today and every day you dug deep, you dug inside of yourself that said, oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, I could take it easy. And you pushed further, okay? We saw some research yesterday as a team when we were looking this up. It said the most New Year's resolutions fail on January 19th. Okay, so if you're doing this program in the time that it's uploaded, take your hands overhead. Think about the fact that you just proved the statistics wrong. You just stepped up to the plate and you said, not me, not this year. I'm not quitting, I'm not giving up, okay? You just showed yourself something incredible. And every single day you can do that. You have the chance to do that, okay? Mediocre attitudes are everywhere, right? The attitudes of don't work too hard are everywhere, okay? I'm here to show you what you can do to help you believe in yourself. That's it. I'm not here to push you to a comparison standard or to tell you you're only great if you do this weight or don't do a modification. None of that is true here with me. I'm here to show you what you already have inside of you. I'm here to help you discover your strength and discover how incredible it can feel when you start getting stronger. You start getting stronger here, you start getting stronger here, you start getting stronger here. You believe in yourself, okay? You start to inspire others around you. Whether they say it or not, you'll never know, but the way you live, if it's positive and if it's full of abundance and strength and gratitude, you are inspiring other people. So think about that double effect. You're doing great things for yourself. You feel good, you push yourself here, and then secondary to that, you're inspiring people around you to feel that way as well. Okay, how incredible is that? So I want you to continue to live your best life. Okay, prove the statistics wrong. Don't fit in with the mediocre. Don't fit in with everyone that's telling you, don't work too hard. If you have goals, you can push, and you're in great company, and you working hard inspires other people to work hard and most importantly, discover your own inner strength, okay? I want you every day to believe in yourself. After leaving this workout, I want you to go into something that maybe you wouldn't and approach it and crush it, okay? The crushed it mindset is what I want you to do outside of the workout as well. So I'm so proud of you. Make sure before you head out today, you never forget this message and then you head over to the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment below that you crushed it and now go crush something else in your day and let's keep proving the statistics wrong. I love you guys, I will see you tomorrow.